One problem many professional photographers stumble upon is falling into an artistic rut, where images can feel uninspiring and look samey. It's more common than you think. After all, if we take photos for a living every day, it's bound to happen at some point. The solution is to let loose your sensibilities and try something new. One solution could be to look back to move forward, and by this we mean taking inspiration from classic photography looks. Instead of digital, what about trying to recreate a retro aesthetic in your frame by replicating the look of vintage film? One obvious contender is the classic Kodachrome, easily identified by the high contrast and deep saturation. This is a film that everybody loves and nobody could fault. And better still, Affinity Photo has all the features and functions needed to make this transformation happen. With your image open in Affinity Photo's Photo Persona, our first job is to add a curves adjustment. Head to the Layers panel and locate the Adjustments option, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. Click on it and the drop down menu will appear. And our first selection is going to be Curves, so click on this. A dialog box will appear and you'll see the channel by default is set to Master. Click on this and set it to red. Now draw out a rough S shape with the curve using the pointers. Change the master from red to green and repeat this step drawing out your S curve using the pointers. We're going to change the channel one more time from green to blue but this time we're going to draw out an inverted S shape. So this time we're going to pull the line down, and there we go. So instantly you'll see the image has changed, and we've gone from a typical colour to a more retro colour. We need to progress this technique a little bit more, however. So head back to the Layers panel, click on the Adjustments icon once more, and this time we're going to select Brightness and Contrast. This time the dialog box will display two sliders so you can ramp up the brightness and also ramp up that contrast to replicate the Kodachrome look. So once again this is what we started with and this is how we've progressed the image so far. Now comes the bit you've all been waiting for, how we control the colour. So we're going to go back to the adjustments icon one more time. We're going to find HSL and when the dialog box appears, you'll see the hue shift, saturation, and luminosity shift sliders. We're going to find the saturation shift slider, and we're going to drag it to the right to really ramp up that color. Now remember, this technique is artistic, so feel free to push the saturation beyond what you normally feel comfortable with. Doing all these changes can soften up the image, so we're going to add a slice of definition to the frame. So we're going to click back on the background layer and we're going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl and J or Apple and J if you're using an Apple Mac. Now we're going to head up to the Filters option. We're going to select Sharpen, scroll across and select High Pass. Another dialog box will appear and you can control the radius which will effectively be the strength of the High Pass filter. So around 11 px should be OK and you can now click Apply. So obviously that high pass filter has made the image look rather strange. So what we need to do now is make sure that layer is selected. We're going to head up to the blending modes options and we're going to change from normal to soft light. So once again, let's take all our edits off and add them back in and you can see how much the image has changed. It's at this stage that you can take control and edit any of your adjustments by clicking on them and lowering the opacity to get the right balance for your particular image. There we go, that's how you add a Kodachrome effect to any image. All you need to do now is save your file by heading up to File, scrolling down to Export, and saving the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. Have fun editing your images and adding a vintage film aesthetic, and I'll see you next time.